In today's video, we're going to see how good of a laminar flow we can get using balloons and electric tape. Guys, big news before we get started with our video today. Grant's book, 52 Random Weekend Projects, is now available. For those of you who pre-ordered and submitted your receipt for a signed copy, check the mail. We're going to be sending a separate package with a signed book plate insert you can put into your book. Guys, we're super excited this is finally live. If you haven't ordered yours yet, head down to the description and click the link to order yours today. So guys, we've done a few laminar flow videos in the past. I showed you how to make a laminar flow nozzle, and then at one point I made an upgrade to that where I added lights into it, and that was a lot of fun. At some point, other YouTubers have done cool stuff with this. Destin from Smarter Every Day had great videos on laminar flow, and then Captain Disillusion had a video where he was talking about what is and is not laminar flow in videos. And he had lots of examples of what is and is not laminar flow, some clips from our video were in that, and I was very happy to appear in a Captain Disillusion video because I've been a <laughs> fan for a long time. And he said that the easiest way to get a good real laminar flow is to take a balloon, fill it with water, tape off a little square of it, and then just stab that spot. <laughs> it won't be like a cylinder tube of laminar oh, flow. But what you will have is water that's all moving so uniformly that it looks like it's kind of frozen. And that's what we want to try. Here's the basic idea. We've seen videos that say that you can make a nice laminar flow of water by filling a balloon, taping off part of it, and then popping it. We wanna see how well that works and test if using different sizes of balloons makes any difference. So you've done a couple of laminar flow videos in the past. I actually haven't done any. So quick breakdown in 10 seconds or less, what is a laminar flow? Laminar flow is when all of the water that's flowing somewhere is flowing in the exact same way. Mm -hmm. So there's no turbulence to the water at all. Okay. Now the devices I made were designed to make a very perfectly round laminar flow, so it looked like just a tube. Whereas the balloon method and some other things will get you what looks like a non-moving sort of crystal of water. It's very cool, guys. It, um, it looks solid until you try to touch it. Yeah. So we want to try and replicate that. We want to try and make it work ourselves, learn if there's any tips or tricks that make it work better or worse. And then we want to try changing the scale a little bit. So I have some larger balloons and we'll see if that makes any difference. We're also going to try putting some food coloring in the water. I really want to see this like colored, not just yeah. clear. I brought sparkles. It's not glitter. It'll go away. It's so super fine. It's a dust that when you mix it with any sort of liquid, it just makes that liquid look like magic. So we've got a whole bunch of balloons. We've got some tape. We've got a knife to stab the balloons with. So we're going to try this out. All right. Start off a standard green party balloon. We're going to see how well this works. Ready? Yep. Whee! Look so at that right beautiful here. shape. Right here. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's moving until you touch it. Yeah, it looks like a shrinking crystal. Like it looks like it's bending maybe, but that's it. Yeah, we do see some movement because as the balloon loses pressure, there's less water coming out. It's just pretty. It's just really, 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 really pretty. Oh, and now it's getting turbulent oh. as it loses too much pressure. Yep. <laughs> now I gotta go back to adding pressure, but then my hand, of course, is gonna mess with it. Wiggles a little. Blah, 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 blah. I wanna try doing the exact same thing again, but making a much smaller hole. Okay. There you go. So if you focus in right in here, there's like no movement. It looks like it's just a solid piece. The distortions of the light in the water just stay the same up to, I mean, it gets to a point where it gets too turbulent, but that first few inches, it just doesn't move. It really just looks like a piece of solid plastic. Even when I do disturb it, it goes back to the exact same shape. This one, it's a pinkish balloon with a pinkish purplish food coloring inside. So I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm hoping we get the same beautiful laminar flow, but now instead of looking like plastic or crystal, it looks like colored plastic or crystal. Well, colored plastic. Oh, it's getting a little too rough. I think it got to the edge and hit the tape and the tape doesn't do a good job of keeping it smooth. So we've got like a sort of laminar flow to it, but I was too aggressive with the, the popping. And so it looks pretty good, but not amazing. Cause yeah, it's just fluttering. And I think that's coming from where it's touching the tape on the side. I'm purposely agitating the water a little bit. And then I'll try and let it settle somewhat, but I want these sparkles to do a thing. 
Well, it's a good flow. More glitter. I'm not seeing much glitteriness to it. More glitter. It's also gonna be harder to see in the clear. All right, I am going to make a balloon with glitter and food coloring. Because yeah, it's a good flow, but I want something different. Wow! <laughs> oh! Boy, I wish that hadn't happened. Well. I am so sorry. That balloon popped, <laughs> which is unpleasant. Oh no. All right, going for blue. Blue, make it blue. That's pretty good. It's a little bigger of an opening that I wanted, but that does make the effect look even that much cooler. It just doesn't last as long. Let's see if this one does anything neater than what's the last one. Also, I wanted that sun. That's what makes it pretty. Yeah. That's all right. Sunshine. Let's see what we've got. Well, it's very hard to see that glitter. But the color Nice plasticky fun. flow. Yeah. The way too big of a cut got far too excited, so that went way too fast. Yeah, the glitter's landing on my hand, but it's hard to see. Next balloon, I'm just gonna use up the rest of the glitter, see what it does. So just this whole bottle then. He's not paying attention, the whole bottle. It's actually kind of fun. Like they all have very similar flow patterns right now, all three of these, cause like they're pretty similar sizes and how the angle that I stabbed them are pretty similar. Guys, I have war flashbacks of the last time we blew up a giant balloon right there. This time it's cold. Ready? Go for it. Yes! That is perfect! It's beautiful. Yeah, that one starts breaking up really quick. So that made me want to try something. What you were talking about earlier, I want to fill it with water, Okay. add the tape, pop it, but still be filling with water and see how much turbulence the hose is adding into the system as it flows through the balloon. Like, I like it. Can a balloon act as a laminar flow device? or does it only work if you let it sit and settle down? So we'll go for sort of a, not quite as big as that one because that was pouring out water way too fast, but still, you know, probably a one centimeter by one centimeter, maybe a little bit larger than that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we are getting some interesting turbulence here. It's weird, because it's just like waving back and forth. Yeah, look at that, how it's just like, ooh, it's not perfect, but it's still staying so similar. Well, it was until I started saying that. It looks like the monster from the water temple. I'm afraid that it's just now leaking total as much as it was filling in. All right, ready? Do it. <laughs> That was very pretty. Let's see if we can get any glitter out of this at all. Three, two, one. Well, no, but that's a very pretty color. It's sort of shiny. If I touch it. Okay, the glitter may have settled. I blew this one up about 10 minutes ago, but look at how pretty that stream is. I think if we wanted to try this again, Nate, we would want to get like a couple whole packets of this glitter. Yeah. Because you can see it in the water. Mm -hmm. See how it's escaping? It's everywhere. There's just not enough light for it to reflect yeah. off of. All right, we've got one of these three foot balloons. And as you can see, I've got several spots. So I'm just gonna go and hit all five of those and hopefully we'll just get five nice laminar flow streams going at once. I like it, let's try it out. Yes! That is so cool! That worked great. Nice, Nate! Well, except that one. That's Four fun. of those are working great. One of them is obstinate and all non-laminary. 
I'm pressuring it, but I'm not really keeping it stable. Very hard to add more pressure and keep it stable at the same time. Sort of Four of them worked well at the beginning. One this of last them one is still just sort of was a butt. morphing as it yeah, goes. This one though, for some reason, just super nice and clean. It's perfect. Hey, Nate! Check uh, it out. What, what, what? The first two, take a look at those. Those are perfect. So the angle change definitely made a difference there. I just want to take a look at these holes though. Interestingly enough, they all look very similar. They all hit the edge about the same. He hit them all at an angle. Honestly, what it looks like from the inside is the two that worked best didn't tear very much. But I could be entirely wrong on that. And that's just a guess. Now we just have a very odd looking balloon. Guys, that's it for today. But you know, we've always got more for you to see. Click the box at the top to check out our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.